It is Tuesday, September 4th. Um, as you can see, I've lost like 50 pounds since I last did my daily vlog. I don't want to do the same as what I did last time. I did a daily vlog and I tried to make an entertaining film and right now I just want to do a video journal because there's a lot on my mind, there's a lot that's been happening, so much is happening in the world. I just want to have a conversation with people who are interested in actually talking about concepts that maybe they don't agree with, maybe they hadn't thought about, but right now it seems if you disagree with anybody, you're instantly evil and you become the absolute embodiment of everything that person you're disagreeing with hates. And there's no way out of that. Uh, as an example, I'm a vegan environmental activist. I never voted for Trump. I don't intend to vote for Trump, but I defend him when I see lies about him in the press. And because of that, I've been blocked, unfriended, and labeled as a Trump supporter by almost everyone that I encounter online. This kind of shit is just, it's, it's maddening. But then I see what happens to people like Louis C.K. or look at Dave Chappelle's latest show that got 0% on Rotten Tomatoes by the official uh, authorities who are able to rate the, the professionals. And then once they open it up to public, it's 99% now, I think. I mean, this kind of bullshit has to stop and we are the only ones who can stop it because we are the ones who are perpetuating it because it's exciting to argue and to debate. And social media, especially Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, these things give us instant gratification for that kind of uh, desire and emotionally stimulating debate and argumentative behavior because anything we say we're guaranteed to be opposed by lots of people who we probably don't even know and supported by lots of people who we probably don't even know in fact the more outrageous your statements and behaviors are the more outrageous the reactions are going to be there's going to be the people who absolutely oppose you and would kill you, quite frankly, if they had the chance. And there's the people who would worship and adore you if they had the chance because people are just so brainwashed, quite frankly. I've worked in media for most of my life. I started at the age of 15 and I'm now 39. I know how easy it is to manipulate people's emotions using cleverly edited video and audio. I think we're all aware of this. We all know how powerful and influential propaganda can be, but we all think it doesn't affect us. Well, I'm saying it does affect me. I have been affected by propaganda. I was extremely anti-Trump in lead up to the election. I was terrified when he was elected. And in fact, I watched his inauguration speech live from here in Germany because I honestly assumed something might happen. I thought he'd be assassinated. I had no absolutely no belief that he would actually take office as president of the United States. That's something I never thought could happen, and I thought it would be the end of the world. Then I saw some of the changes that he was making, and I actually liked it. And I started to ask questions, and I realized that I was attacked just for asking questions. Then I went back, and I started to actually research a lot of the things that made me fearful of Trump, and I found out that they were mostly fabrications. Now, I'm not saying Trump is innocent. I'm not saying he's a good guy. All I'm saying is he's not the devil. He's not the person that they're now calling. I just saw there's calls not just for impeachment. What is it? The 500th time they've said, we're going to impeach him. This is it. Finally, we have something to impeach. Now they're saying that they're actually going to put him to death for treason over something that nobody has all the facts to. There are officials in the Ukraine who say that they reopened the investigations and they reached out to the Trump administration but everyone's ignoring that because the news is saying how Trump has committed treason by influencing a foreign leader for a political benefit. There's no evidence of this whatsoever. There's conflicting stories on both sides, but everybody picks a side, me included. I picked a side. I believe Trump. I picked my side. I am biased. But I'm biased because of how much bias I've seen against Trump. And it's like the boy who cried wolf. How many times can you say he's guilty, he's guilty, this is it? And it turns out to be nothing. Look at the Russia collusion investigation. There was no Russian collusion. Yeah, some people went to prison for committing crimes, but there was no Russian collusion. 
And now they're just right onto the next thing. Now it's Ukrainian collusion. Now it's via Ukraine. This is madness, guys. So we have to stop it. And by guys, I mean ladies and those in between as well. So don't get offended by my fucking speech because I'm just a human being trying to communicate the thoughts of my head using an imperfect language that we all have learned in different ways. I'm calling for rationality and sanity to return to humanity and to human relations because social media could have been the greatest invention in human history, but it has been weaponized against us. Not only are we the commodity, not only are we what is being sold and traded, our data, but we're being manipulated by using our data. They know exactly what you like, what you dislike. They analyze your comments. Your microphone might even listen into private conversations and suggest all kinds of things to you that they know might appeal to you. We are being manipulated and we need to take the time to stop and think before we speak and before we act. Feel the emotions, feel the anger, feel the rage, feel it, let it wash over you. Realize that it's not real. It's just your body responding to thoughts. But what's real is what's around you. I'm real, you're real. Let's have real conversations in the comments. I'm going to keep making videos like this. I don't know how often. I might aim for one a day, but I don't know if anyone even gives a shit what I say. All I can do is put it out there. And I hope that I find an audience of people who want to have real discussions about real topics. Look, I've lived an interesting life. First of all, I grew up uh, in a religious cult. I wasn't even allowed to read books that weren't approved by the cult. I wasn't allowed to have friends outside of the cult. I wasn't allowed to date. None of that. I was born in Detroit, Michigan, and I now I live in Germany. I'm married to a German woman. I broke free from the cult. I've had every single one of my friends and family members turn their backs on me when I left the religion. Only slowly have some of them come back into my life. I speak multiple languages. I've lived in seven countries on three continents around the planet. I worked in Hollywood. I've been a stand-up comedian for eight years. I'm a trained rescue diver. I've done a lot of things. I've got an interesting life and a lot to talk about, but nobody gives a shit because I sometimes defend Trump and now I'm a Trump supporter. So if you actually want to have interesting conversations with interesting people like I do, I want to hear about your life. What have you done that's amazing? We can all learn from each other if we respect each other. And so I want to have respectful conversations. I'm doing this also for myself, so it might be boring to you. If it is, no problem. Just go to the next, scroll along to the next video in your fucking feed and feed your goddamn addiction to drama. I'm done with drama. I want to talk about reality. I want to talk about rationality. I want to talk about psychology. I want to talk about a lot of the things that I've studied and how I know humans are being manipulated and can be manipulated I want to analyze these things to try and stop myself from being a victim of this manipulation. And then I want to start creating content that can go out and undo this manipulation and help give people back the keys to their own fucking mind and their own fucking hearts because it's gotten out of control and I've had enough of this. I mean, I'm going to do a John Galt and just fucking piss off to, I don't know where, Antarctica. They're everywhere now. There's no place on this planet that you can go to escape the madness anymore. I have regular conversations with people in Kenya, Nigeria, Colombia, South Africa, Australia, America, Sweden, just about everywhere. There's no place you can go anywhere anymore to escape the madness. So the only way out is through. We have to get through this together. So join me. Um, maybe we'll have some interesting conversations. Maybe you'll hate my guts and tell me in the comments. But let's be real. Let's connect via our technology, and let's use it for good rather than for harm. I'm DJ Nikki. The date is Tuesday, September 24th. Uh, it is 10.54 a.m. here in Germany. Yeah, I'm completely unshowered, unshaven. I've got a lot of work to do, but I'm just, I'm just apathetic, and I don't like that. All my life I've been optimistic and excited and driven, which is why I've achieved all the things that I've achieved in such a short amount of time because I have been driven, but lately I'm just apathetic. I don't give a fuck anymore because I feel like this planet isn't even worth it. We're killing all life. I agree with a lot of the sentiments of Greta Thunberg, the, whatever her name is, the little girl from Sweden. I mean, I think she should be dealing more with the goddamn 
immigrant crisis that they're having. There are places in Sweden that the police won't even go. You don't believe it? I've got friends in Sweden who send me articles that I have to take to Google Translate to translate that's true. And she doesn't give a shit about that. She doesn't give a shit about the immigrants and refugees that are killing each other and killing, raping. Sweden's now the rape capital of Europe. It used to be unheard of there. She doesn't care. She's around, going around the world not offering solutions but condemning us. Fuck you. No, but I agree with a lot of her points. We're in the midst of the sixth great extinction of our planet. Every living ecosystem on the planet is in decline. It's dying. Everything, all life on the planet is dying except for human civilization. But even that, really, are we thriving? No, we're barely existing. There's a few, the top 1%, whatever you want to call it. There's a few who are thriving, but most of us are struggling. So together we can figure a way out of this. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm going to stop talking now and I wish you a great day. I'll see you next time.